How's it going? <laughs> <laughs> it's going. How are you doing there, sexy? Oh, I am, you know, pretty super duper. Super duper, huh? That's, that's how I'm Genetic feeling. Super, super duper. Gee whiz. Yes. Yeah. That's just golly. golly. Start with the basic bullshit. Guys, why don't you start with playing music? Oh. Well, you know, my mother uh, stuck a guitar up her ass. Right. While I was being conceived. Okay. So, you know, I come out and I'm playing a song and my mother's looking at me like, That's Black Sabbath, you fucking <laughs> And I was like, of course. I didn't know. I was, I was at an asylum when he found me and uh, they, uh, oh, someone okay. was having a big fight or something and uh, they dropped a bass out of a window and it smashed me over the head and I thought, yeah, all right. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. 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 Plays well. Didn't I see you guys on one of those videos with that guy? The InfoWars videos. This was a few months yeah. back. Yeah. Yeah. They spun it after we did it as, as musicians sell their soul to the devil. Yeah. That what? wasn't really part of it when we were doing it. They cut out this part that set us up for what we actually did, which right. was they were asking, Do you do any political songs? Have you sang anything political? And I said, We have a song that we wrote about when Indiana did the Religious Freedom Restoration Act that basically said, You know, you, if you own a bakery, you can say to a gay couple, I will not serve your kind, get uh, the fuck out. And she was like, oh, would you sing it for us? Right. So she cut all that out of the conversation. So instead what you saw was a video of us singing about how Indiana's a bunch of homophobic people and yeah. that we're going to Indiana to fuck them. And <laughs> don't get me wrong, they're right. Right. <laughs> but... We came because they did something extremely homophobic, right? And we wrote a song about we're gonna teach you guys a fucking lesson. So tell me about this other thing coming up, the show, the big show. It's a big show, I think. It is. It is. We've got two major things that are happening. The first one is next week, June eleventh at Brighton Music Hall. It's going to be a fundraiser for Bagley.org. Bagley's actually kind of cool, and it goes way beyond the LGBT community. Their whole mission is to be able to help youth in trouble. We go on at 8. So Spotlight will be July 16th. Yes. Um, That's the official CDU release. What's important about a show is that it's a show. And when I watch you guys, I go, well, there you go. It's fun to watch. That's what's fucking missing with so many motherfuckers. It's like, yeah. where's the show? We're going to a show, I thought. Put on a fucking show and you do that and I respect that. Oh. I wanted to fucking see you at Kodo. This was, I, the first interview I did was with Mike Wu. And I and like a week later, I'm like, dude, I'm like, I want to go to your show. I'm like, I am broke. I don't have any money. Like, can I come anyway? He's like, yeah, it should be fine. Whatever. So I get there, and he's like, oh, I just found out there's no guest list. He's like, just come in the back door. You'll be good. And I'm like, all right. And then the girl's like, hey, do you have a bracelet? And I'm like, I took it off. <laughs> I didn't know. She's like, oh, never do that. Never take it off. Never take off the bracelet. And I'm like, all right. And she's like, you gotta talk to the door guy. He's like, what? I didn't give you a bracelet. He's like, did you come in the back door? I'm like, yeah. He's like, what, you don't wanna support the band? I'm like. <laughs> He's like, no. I was like, I do wanna support the fucking band. I was like, I did an interview with the band to promote this show. I was like, I just. And he was like, well, he started arguing with me and I was just like, you know, it's cool. I'm not, He's doing his job. You gotta right. pay the money to get in. I'm not gonna yeah. argue with the guy, so I'm like, all right. And I'm not going to go around and ask somebody to lend me $5. Right. So that's why I missed the show. Yeah. I and I felt one more thing. I felt bad because I'm the guy sitting here telling people to support the scene. I can't pay $5 to get in the fucking show. And that's just because I'm broke. Well, then now's perfect timing. You've got, you've got a week to raise yourself the 25 bucks for the show. <laughs> Is it 25 it's, it's I mean, it's, it's Shree Curry. Oh, because it's like, the, yeah, it's, it's a huge. Show. It's yeah. in one of the it's biggest a, venues in Boston. Yeah. It's a part of Boston well, Pride. I will it's definitely see event. you at Spotlight. <laughs> I was going to say, I feel like you'll be at the Spotlight show for sure. For sure.